All right, guys. It's the next morning. Oh man, I look tired. But uh, I came out. I had one bullet left, and I said, you know what? I'm gonna go scout. I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get high, and I'm gonna just look for deer. One bullet. I'll take the muzzle loader just in case. And I left the wife sleeping in the hotel room. And what do you know? Just a pretty massive buck just walked by. And um, I just got a shot on him, man. I'm so excited. I just got a shot at him at 70 yards and he dropped. And he's just a massive buck. I think he's like a three by four, but for me, he's massive. Let's go see. I think he went down. He should, he should be done. Man, I'm so blessed. Let's go look at him. It's starting to rain now. But when I shot, when I shot this guy, it had to be a good shot. I only had one chance. So, man, he's down. I can see him. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This can't be real. I hit an elk yesterday. Come out here and just harvest this nice buck. Look at that. Holy smokes. Look at that animal. Oh my gosh. Beautiful buck. Wow. It's a nice, pretty nice rack. For me, that's a really nice rack. All right, guys, that was a beautiful buck. He went down. I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here and go wake the wife up and I'll bring her back. She can help me, you know, get it out of here. It's probably gonna be like a 500 yard, 500 yard push to the road. So it's gonna be hard, but uh, we'll get it figured out. It's just, man, I love it when a plan comes together like that. You know, an elk yesterday, we were up till 11 o'clock at night harvesting this animal wake up early just to go scout and just get what what I call a monster just beautiful chocolate horn buck just an amazing time out here and let's go get her look at that look at those bucks where did they come from oh, there's some big bucks Places you gotta go when you're trying to hawk these animals. Look at this. Oh, shoot. So steep. Oh man, we're on the edge of death right here. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm back. Brought the wife. We're getting ready to go pack this deer out. Let's go get it. There's the beauty. There he is. Wow. Look at this guy. All right, guys. We packed up the meat. Got the rack in the backpack. This, this backpack's a military backpack, but it'll work. Got them nice and secure. We're only going like 300 yards or 400 or something like that, but it was cool to finally get one in the backpack to get on out. Usually, I drag them out. This is actually my first mule deer. When you get a white tail, you're usually close to road. You just drag the whole deer out, gut it and drag it. But here, you gotta quarter it up, pack it out. Mule deer are usually way out in the country. So, we're gonna work our way out and let's go. I made one trip already. And look at this hardcore lady, this hardcore woman right here, carrying that meat. So I'm back here in the city, Las Vegas, and I have an elk and I have a mule deer in the back. Right now I'm going to take the mule deer to the taxidermist. And um, we ended up cutting our trip short. We were gonna stay in a hotel room a few nights, but since we got so lucky with the cow elk and a mule deer, which are on my back right now. We decided to head home, so now we're back in the city. 
and I'm gonna go drop the, the mule deer off at a taxidermist. It might not be big to some of you guys, but for me, that's the biggest mule deer. Actually, that's the first mule deer I've ever got. So, of course, it's the biggest, you know, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and get him done up. But if you watch this to the end, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and like and subscribe to my boys channel. Um, we're gonna do a lot of fishing, a lot of good fishing coming up. Striper boils, some bassing, you know, a lot of, a lot of good videos. So stay tuned. And um, like I said, make sure you subscribe, comment, like, and all that good stuff. All right, so I'm turning the buck in here. Vegas Valley Wildlife Studios. My buddy Chip owns it. It's a pretty good place. Pretty good guy. We had a little cheater here. Broke off. Tails are around here too. So this is inside the taxidermy shop. It's pretty neat. I decided to get this one. Semi sneak left turn. Should look good. Here's Adrian Zettler's. That was his, the one he took with his bow. So I just went to Vegas Valley Wildlife Studios. And uh, like I said, my buddy Chip owns that place. Really good guy. If you get something, some type of animal and you want taxidermy done, take it there. He'll treat you real good. He's open 24-7 during, during hunting season, so check him out. And um, I appreciate you guys watching this video to the end. Um, thanks for joining along on the trip. I had a great time. Got my mule deer, got my kale elk, filled two tags. Couldn't ask for anything better. And um, we'll do some videos on maybe cooking some of them up or whatever. But I really appreciate you watching, and I'll see you outdoors.